I wanted to take my picture in Rankin Studio because this is where I work now and I feel like I finally found my place where I'm accepted. Pictures for me is my first language because when I was younger I didn't always find communication easy especially as I got older through the school years so as I've learned to communicate as I've got older it's been like learning a second language whereas pictures have always been my constant way of communication when sometimes language fails. I sometimes feel guilty about my diagnosis story because when I hear stories from other people that have been diagnosed later on they often talk about this weight off their shoulders or this moment of realization or this moment of relief whereas I didn't feel that at all I hated myself um, I hated my diagnosis and I didn't identify with anyone um, that, I, that I met that was autistic because I think looking back they were all male um, and, and I also was told by the GP as well that this could have significant career ramifications and social ramifications so I just felt like I'd been burdened at 16 with this secret about myself that was the why for everything I did but I could never explain that why to anyone because it would ruin my life when I was at school, I was told not to come back anymore because I would truant all the time because I was so scared of being in lesson and the lights and the people and I was close to people and people would touch my things and it was, it was so overwhelming. And I was told that I could only sit my functional skills exams rather than my GCSEs and I would never go on to achieve anything. So my granddad, who's in his 80s, taught me my GCSEs for two hours every day, every single day. And then when it came to sit my GCSEs, I got 14 A's. So now I feel pride in what I've achieved, but I also feel an immense responsibility to make sure that autistic girls at school never felt the way I did.